Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about what is blocks in Java and what are the various types of blocks are in Java. Actually, Java has two types of blocks. So mainly I can say there are two types of blocks in Java. So what is block? If anything is beginning with open curly brace and ending with close curly brace, then I will say it's a block. Right. So there mainly I can divide a Java blocks into two types. So one is block with name. And the second one is a block without name. So nothing but anonymous block. So coming to block with name, I can divide it into two types. One is method and the second one is constructor. Mainly I can divide a blocks with name into two types method and the constructor so already in our previous video we have discussed about what is method and what are the methods are available in java also we have discussed about constructor so in case if you haven't watched these method and constructor videos so the link is available in the description so please watch these videos so finally coming to this video so we are going to concentrate on block without name nothing but anonymous block i can divide an anonymous block into two types one is instance block and the second one is static block so in this video we are going to see about anonymous block nothing but instance and static block one by one via program so first we will start with instance block since it's an anonymous block it will not come with the name so now i am just opening a block without specifying any name so this block I can say it is an instance block so just for our output testing purpose I'm just making one statement so I will say I am an instance block So now I have defined my instance block. Now we will be getting a question in our mind. How to invoke this instance block? So in case of method or a constructor, I have a name. With the help of that name, I can call method or constructor. But in case of anonymous block, there is no name. So which means I cannot call manually. So it has to execute automatically. So now we'll see when this instance block will get executed. I'm just creating object of this class. I'm just creating object of this class. Let it be object one. And I will run this code. And then I will observe the output. You can see it is executing my instance block. So which means the instance block will get executed automatically when we are creating an object. For each object creation, the instance block will get executed. So for example, I have created one object. So let me create one more object. 
let it be object 2 so now i have created two object so already we know that the instance block will get executed automatically for each and every object creation you can see it is executing the instance block for first object and again one more time it is executing the instance block for the second object creation so finally for each object creation this instance block will get executed now we'll get one more question one more question now so already we are familiar about constructor so we know that constructor also will get executed automatically when we are creating object so now because of this object creation it is executing two thing instant block as well as constructor so now i need we need to understand which one is which one will execute first whether instant block or the constructor let us understand that one let me remove this line so let me make it one object creation so that our output will be the clear let me make a constructor i'm just defining a constructor and inside that constructor i am just displaying a message i am a constructor and in the main program in the main method you can see i am creating a object only once now now let us run this code and we'll observe which one is taking the highest priority or which one is executing at first you can look at my output from the output itself we can understand at first it is executing instance block and then it is executing the constructor so finally i am summarizing the points once again so inst instance block is a type of anonymous block in java and this instance block will get executed automatically when we are creating object so for each object creation it will execute the instance block so finally coming to java because of this object creation it is executing two thing one is instance block and the second one is constructor so finally because of object creation at first the instance block will get executed and then the constructor will execute so hope friends uh, we are clear about instance block now sometimes we may get one more question can i define multiple instance block in a single class let us try to define let me make this one as instance block 1 and i will try to define one more instance block so here i will say it is instance block 2 i will save this program you can see i have saved my code I am not getting any compile time error so which mean it is allowed in java so which mean in a single class i can have n number of instance block so now another question will come to our mind which one will it get executed at first right now let us run this code and will observe the output so with the help of this output easily we can understand you can see at first it is executing my instance block 1 and then instance block 2 and as usual 
because of object creation it is executing the constructor which means how it is executing it is executing in the order wise so first defined instance block will get executed at first and second defined instance block will get executed second and it will go till instance block n so hope friends we are clear about instance block so now we'll see the second type of anonymous block nothing but static block again static block is also anonymous block which mean without name so now we'll see how to define a static block let me make this block as static the static block will come with the keyword static and i will say it is static block and i will as of now i will be removing all those things and in the main method i will make one print alarm statement to display i am a main method so now we have understood that how to define a static block so i am defining a static block with a static keyword so it will become a static block so now again like instance block it has to execute automatically because there is no name i cannot invoke i cannot call the block anonymous block so already we know that instance block will get executed automatically when we are creating object but now it is a static block so already we are familiar we have discussed in our previous videos static means it's not tied with object right the static property can run without object so which mean the static block is not tied with object which mean it is not going to execute automatically because of object creation so now let us run this code and we'll observe the output how it is executing the static blocks you can look at the output before the main method it is executing my static block so finally what will happen in a program whenever i am trying to execute a program so the jvm will check whether i have a static block or not i mean before executing the main method the jvm will check whether i have a static block or not so if there is a static block in my program in my main class at first it will be executing the static block and then it will execute your main method so that's why you can look at my output in output i am getting very clearly right so before my main method it is executing my static block so hope it's clear friends the same way in a single program or in a single class file i can define n number of static block let me say first one is static block 1 and let me say the second one is static block 2 right so now you can see i am not getting any compile time error which means i can define a number of static block like instance block so again order is invoking order is also same as instance block the first defined block will get executed first you can look at the output first it is executing static block 1 which is defined first and it is executing static block 2 second which is defined second and then it is executing the main method so which mean before main method it is executing all the static blocks and then it is coming to the main method inside main method if i am creating a object then the instance block will get executed after the instance block 
because of object creation the constructor will get executed so finally the order will be like this uh, friends so first the static block will get execute if there is a static block in a program and then it will come to the main method and inside main method if i am creating a object so then because of this object creation at first it will execute instance block and then it will be executing the constructor so hope friends we are clear about two types of anonymous blocks in java so thanks friends for watching this video if you like this video you can subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as i upload the new video you will be getting the notification and also you can share it with your friends